The stethoscope was invented in 1816 by French doctor René Lenec. Before, doctors used to listen to the noises made by organs by placing an ear against the patient's body. 200 years have passed, and medicine is advancing faster than ever before, but the stethoscope is still used by doctors everywhere. My name is Dr. Stephen Wetmore. I'm the uh, Chair Chief of Family Medicine here at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, Western University. Dr. Wetmore says that the stethoscope has lasted this long because it's such an important piece of equipment for every doctor. I think because it is such a key instrument, it's, it's one of the main things that, a, you know, when as a medical student, when you first get your doctor's bag and you have a bunch of instruments there, it's really the stethoscope that, uh, that you reach for and use most and um, is really a symbolic of your role as a physician. Dr. Wetmore adds that all of the new advanced technology is absolutely amazing for the world of medicine, but that doctors should not be relying on it too much. I think doctors can make use of this new technology and it will really help improve healthcare, but we also need to retain our traditional physical exam techniques and traditional instruments like the stethoscope. It can't hurt anything. It can only help. I also spoke with Dr. James Calvin, who is the chair and chief of the Department of Medicine here at UWO, and he told me that the stethoscope is one of the best tools that any doctor could have on them at all times. It's non-invasive, it doesn't hurt the patient, and it also brings a sense of trust and that the patient and their health matters to the doctor. From the Schulich School of Medicine at Western University, Mitch LaPlante, Fanshawe Learns.